Well, um, Ben very kindly said I was a, a, a grandfather of, uh, of CGFI. <laughs> Uh, and I kind of I, I thought, well, that means I'm getting a bit older, but it also means that you can look after CGFI for a day and then hand it back. So, so that, felt, that felt pretty good too. Um, and I'm about to uh, introduce Ian Williams, and it's a particular pleasure to uh, introduce Ian. Um, I was lucky enough to, for eight years to sit on uh, the council of the Natural Environmental Research Council, NERC, um, to sort of try and help, help to provide a bit of a bridge between um, environmental science and, and the city and finance. And uh, it, was a, it was a true um, joy when a few years later, a NERC, along with uh, UKRI, became uh, the key um, sub driver, really, and supporter of the SERAF program of which uh, CGFI uh, is part. So great to welcome uh, Ian Williams, Strategic Partner um, Director at NERC. Ian. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here. Thank you, Rowan, and very exciting to be here at uh, the start of uh, the second conference for CGFI. So for those of you who are uh, perhaps less familiar with UKRI, just a very brief uh, introduction. We are the largest uh, public sector funder of research, innovation, uh, and skills. We invest over eight billion pounds a year uh, in that sector. And of course, a part of that, and a very important part of that, is our contribution uh, to the net zero agenda, uh, or as we often call it, the net zero plus agenda. Uh, in this context, a plus uh, refers to biodiversity, essentially, uh, and the broader uh, environmental context. And a recent look across uh, UKRI's portfolio, uh, we estimate around £800 million of investment in research, innovation and skills is made to support the Net Zero Plus agenda. And this includes, uh, most recently, uh, a cross UKRI programme, which we call Building a Green Future, uh, which is a £75 million programme that cuts across uh, all the research councils and Innovate UK uh, within UKRI to do just that, to build a green future. And as I talk for the next few minutes, we'll talk more about UKRI working together across its research councils, because as you'll be aware, uh, no one individual research council, no one specific scientific uh, domain can uh, resolve the big challenges that we face uh, in green finance, but more generally across the environmental uh, sector. Uh, but uh, just a quick word about uh, NERC, Natural Environment Research Council. We study the whole globe. Uh, that means from the top of the atmosphere right down to uh, the depth of, of the earth, the oceans, underneath the oceans, uh, literally from pole to pole, and the land surface as well. Uh, and a lot of that is done through our six uh, centres on the left-hand side of the slide. And some of those have been collecting data in various guises around the world and about the world uh, for over 100 years. So we know a lot about the world. We have a lot of data about uh, the globe, which I'll refer to later. And how we, what's important is how we make use of those data, as others have referred to. But as uh, Rowan said, about three years ago, we started uh, looking deeply, if you like, at developing a green finance portfolio. Uh, and that started off with uh, what we referred to as the SEREF program uh, at the Center for Greening Finance and Investment. It's £10 million investment that NERC made with Innovate UK to enable us to, uh, to grow the green finance sector, to work on collaborating together with the data, but also collaborating uh, with the finance industry as well. And since then, this portfolio has grown uh, a little bit further. Our latest investment is the uh, 17, 17 million pound investment, seven billion pound investment, apologies, um, integrating finance and biodiversity to put the biodiversity question uh, into the heart of finance as well. Uh, 
uh, that is also uh, jointly with Innovate UK. And we also have an Economics of Biodiversity programme jointly with uh, the Economics and Social Research Council uh, and a, a newer programme uh, called Renew, uh, based at the University of Exeter, uh, uh, which is part of our Change in the Environment programme. So we're seeing a growing uh, number of investments made by NERC usually in collaboration with other research councils uh, to develop our green finance portfolio. But just to dig uh, a little bit deeper for a few moments into the data and analytics, as, uh, as others have already mentioned this morning. Uh, last year, about 12 months ago, uh, NERC launched uh, its uh, first digital strategy. In our context, digital strategy uh, refers to everything from how we collect the data uh, out in the field, using various technologies and platforms, all the way through to how that data is, is stewarded, looked after, curated, through to the analysis, making those data available, uh, and then through use to enable, digitally enable decisions. And whenever I talk or come to a green finance meeting, the data is, is critical. Uh, and I've spent a lot of time talking about it. And the stars on that, uh, on that cycle uh, of, of uh, of our strategy is really where a lot of the green finance work uh, 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 sits on the sort of the left hand side, the use of the data, if you like. We, NERC hosts an uh, environmental data service which comprises of uh, five different data centres covering the main domains of the globe. Uh, you can see them here, I won't read, read them out. But as I said, we, know we have a lot of data about the globe, over 30 petabytes of data uh, collectively across the uh, environmental data service. And the first three of these on the top, uh, the Earth, Atmosphere uh, and Solar, Terrestrial and Freshwater and Oceanography and Marine, uh, to use those centres, you have to, to use those data centres, you have to um, register so we know how many people are using those data. Uh, and alone, just those three uh, have over 200,000 users. Uh, and interestingly, and very positively from my uh, perspective, is more than half of those registered users are, from, are not from academia. So just under half are from academia, researchers, but more than half are from other sectors, uh, which is really a good indicator that people are really using this data for all sorts of reasons. But data in itself uh, is great, but it isn't going to get us, uh, get us too far. And uh, my uh, final slide is uh, about how we work very hard to put this data into context, to make it usable, accessible, uh, and available for all sorts of uses, but as we referred to uh, earlier, uh, particularly around uh, the, the green finance agenda today. So we have the data service, but we put that into a context um, uh, we use, uh, we have the Jasmine uh, uh, compute facility uh, at the bottom right of the slide. This enables these very, very large data, uh, data holdings to be able to be analysed, uh, essentially uh, located next to, uh, to high performance computing uh, facilities. It's re really important uh, when, met, when handling the, the large quantities of data that the environmental science community uses. We also have uh, the Data Solutions Hub, uh, led out of the University of Manchester, which is aiming to uh, support the user interface, if you like, uh, of, of our data, to, to enable it to be more, uh, the data to be more accessible, uh, and to be more uh, easily uh, findable, uh, but also to help with the integration of our environmental data with other domains and that's very important we spent a lot of time talking for example with the with the health domain how can we link health data with, with environmental data uh, very important component so we see this as a as a as a wider context as an ecosystem if you like to uh, support and uh, enable the use of the vast amounts of data about the globe that we have and it's fantastic that uh, we'll be hearing about uh, some some of that uh, later today so uh, I will leave it there for the, for the moment, but just to say, first of all, we, we stand by ready to support, particularly across uh, the research councils to support the green finance agenda. The interdisciplinarity of, uh, of this work is really important. Uh, and secondly, we really want to work with you around how we can use our data, make our data more available and convert our data to 
information that is uh, enabled to be used for decision making uh, in a whole range of industry contexts. Thank you very much. Ian, thank you so much, and uh, please convey our thoughts uh, to Duncan and the wider team uh, for both the financial data and, and wider program uh, support that uh, that NERC gives. Um,